Hello, my name is Michael, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to set favorites on ServiceNow. Now, there's a few different ways that we could set favorites, but I'll just go ahead and run through all of them for you guys. So one of the ways you can set favorites is if you come over to the All Applications menu, and let's go in and search for Change, for example. All you got to do is you just have to locate your preferred application or module, and as you highlight it, you'll have a few different options here, but um, you probably won't have the Edit module unless you're an admin but you should have the add favorite option, which is the little star. And all you gotta do is highlight the one that you're trying to add to your favorites, select that star. It's gonna ask you to go ahead and either keep the default name for that favorite, and you can go ahead and select a folder too. But we don't have any folders yet, so we're just gonna add it to our general favorites here. So once you go ahead and hit done, you'll see your star here illuminates. And if you wanna remove it, all you gotta do is click it again, and you can remove it. But let's add that back again. And let's also add two new favorites. Let's add the create incident. And we'll also add a random incident. Come down to this one. Okay, then once you're on the incident form or any form for that matter, if you come over to the additional actions menu, you'll see a create favorite option here. But the easiest way to set favorites across ServiceNow is just to click the star that's in the center of the screen. So once you select that star, same thing, you could rename the favorite if you want. Same, uh, it's gonna show the same information that you saw under the All Applications menu. And we'll hit Done. So we should have three favorites, and we do. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create a group so that because we have two incidents, we're gonna put them in a group. And then I guess we could also create another one for change too, but it's not really necessary, I guess, because we only have one favorite right now. But it's definitely good practice to keep your favorites as organized as possible because this list is probably gonna be very long. Also, if you have your favorites open, a few different things you can do. You can pin it. So if you like to have your favorites here off on the side, you can. Or you can even search. So if we search change, oops, all we see is change now. Okay, so let's go ahead and make some changes here to our favorites. So first thing we want to do, I guess, is to change the color. So let's change the color of our icon. We'll change it to cyan, and let's just use a random icon. So you see those things both changed. Incident, we'll do the same. This incident, we'll do the same. Um, I like a little computer in blue. Oh, we'll do purple. Okay, and next thing that we're gonna do, also, if you guys just drag and drop, you can change the order if you want to. Let's create our custom group. I don't know why it does this. Maybe it doesn't do, hopefully it doesn't do it for you guys, but for some reason when I do this, it always creates two groups. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and add our, well, maybe did it because we have two favorites, but even when I only had one favorite here, it still would do it. So I'm not sure why that is. Let's go ahead and add our incidents here to this group. Okay, and we'll name this group Incident. Make it blue. Looks good. All right, and this one, I guess we could set up this one too. Okay, this one could be change. You can be green. All right, now we have two different folders, Incident and Change. Once you're done, you can go ahead and hit save. And now you can see as we open up our filters, or I'm sorry, our favorites, we have the incident drop down and we also have the change drop down. And if we were to go to another, let's just choose another random incident. Let's say that we want to favorite this one as well. Now we can go ahead and select that folder or that group that we created. And then you hit done. Now we should have three. Now we do, we do have three here. We can uncollapse these two if we want to. And that is essentially how you guys create favorites on ServiceNow. If you have any questions about favorites that I didn't cover, please feel free to ask. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing to the channel and I'll catch you all in the next video very soon.